Chairman, uh, members of the committee. <clears throat> um, my name is Aaron White, and I'm the president of the Idaho State AFL-CIO. And I am honored. Um, where am I? I'm honored to show the labor movement support uh, for all workers by being a part of this hearing. Uh, we believe that all Idaho workers must have their rights respected and recognized under the law, including language to ensure our LGBT residents are not discriminated against is essential to our overall mission of improving workers' lives in and out of the workplace. Everyone who works hard, regardless of sexual orientation or identity, deserves an equal opportunity to achieve the American dream and contribute to our country's shared prosperity. Um, nationally, the labor movement has been dedicated to protecting and promoting LGBT workers' rights through their continued support for the Employment Non-Discrimination Act, which would prohibit employers from discriminating against employees or potential hires due to their sexual orientation or gender identity. At the AFL-CIO's last national convention in 2013, labor delegates voted to amend the Labor Federation's constitution to include wording that would ban discrimination against workers due to their gender identity or gender expression in addition to their sexual orientation. And listening to all this testimony uh, over the last few days, I have had an opportunity to have a little bit of personal refle reflection. And so I thought I'd, I, I should mention that when I first came to Idaho, um, I didn't necessarily come here for kindness. I came here for a job. And my brother and I both moved from Oregon uh, because there was a lot of work happening at Micron. And so we wanted to get in the trade and, and be, become electricians. Uh, and when we first moved here, he and I both moved into an apartment together. And I just wonder how it would feel to be turned down because I was living with my brother. Um, and after that, we bought a house together. Uh, and, you know, since that time, we've both gone on and uh, got married and had kids of our own. You know, we've gone our separate ways. But I just sympathize with the folks in the audience here who have been fired because of their sexual orientation or gender identity um, or not afforded housing because of the same. So thank you for your time. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer. Uh, are there questions? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oops. <laughs>